Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. Today we are looking at Brain Warp the Trivia Game from Parker Brothers. Ages 10 and up, two players or more, 30 minutes approximately. This is from 2017. Now it has the Parker Brothers logo, but Parker Brothers was actually bought by Hasbro. So you will see the Hasbro logo down in the corner. Now this is obviously just a takeoff of Trivial Pursuit. And this is in a very simplistic package. These were sold for about five bucks a piece at local dollar stores like Dollar General, that sort of thing. That's where I picked this up. And I got it at an after Christmas sale last year. So I know these are still around. They have several of these knockoffs, intentional knockoffs, which is kind of cool because if you just want something you can play once or twice, these games are pretty good for that. Inside, we're going to find the score mat, 90 cards, and four triangle movers. So let's open this up and see what we've got. And this is really just to be the first person to answer five questions correctly. So it's a very simple trivia game. So let's open this up. It's just held together with a piece of tape. So you just have to break the tape and then open it up. Oh, well, this box really doesn't have a lot in it. They probably could have given you a smaller box. Oh, wow. These pieces are really small. As you can see, they've already fallen out of the uh, packaging, out of the sprue. So what we've got are four small colored triangles for movers or pieces. And on the back... They all say Parker Brothers. They're the same shape for all of them. Say Parker Brothers. And this one is blue number one, purple number two. Yellow number three. Orange number four. There's a green start and a red win. So you just kind of connect these together. These are a lot smaller than I expected them to be. And the picture does make them look a little bigger. It's obviously blown up for size to kind of give that impression and that's fine. So there we go. That's the board. All right, let's take a look at these cards. And there are 90 cards. So let's take a quick look. These are really small. The print's kind of small too, but we'll take a look at them and see what we've got. So as you can see, these are pretty small and the cards are actually really tiny, but you get a nice big stack of them. So let's see what we have here. as I knock stuff off the tape. All right. Are these numbered or anything? Doesn't look like it. Oh, they are. These are actually numbered. Okay, and they are violined or accordioned, however you want to say it. Just like the other ones. So they are perforated. They are not gonna shuffle well. These are very, very thin and they're probably gonna break. So they are numbered up in the corner up here, just above the copyright information and product number. So there's one color per card. This side is the question side and on the back are the answers in gold. Oh no, maybe these are other questions. Yeah, different questions, cool. So yeah, I give you kind of an idea of what you can expect with these. 
So like I said, these are pretty flimsy feeling. There's quite a few on each section. But they do pop apart really, really easily. I really appreciate they took the extra effort to put the card numbers on these because with a lot of these lower end games they don't do that so it's nice that they actually put that little bit of extra effort in it does look like they're out of order though So just because it's still attached doesn't mean you have them in consecutive orders. Which is not a huge deal. The questions do range pretty significantly, so some of them are a lot harder than others. Uh, it says ages 10 and up, but I don't know if a 10-year-old's going to know the gemstone for, uh, or the birthstone, rather, for January. I don't, I don't think uh, ten, your average 10-year-old's going to know that. Maybe if they're really into rocks, but... Like I said, the other side is just gold with different questions on them. That's kind of neat. So you get a fair amount of questions for the price point. Alright, that's really all there is to it. The game cardboard is pretty good for the actual scoreboard here. The 
cards are pretty tepid but for the cost of it usually you can find this like i said it's five bucks typical retail you can usually find them on clearance after the holidays sometimes even at, long after the holidays you're not going to pay that much for it so you can't expect high high quality but for its price point it's not bad it's a kind of a one and done thing you're going to play a handful of games over a holiday or something it's good for that you will need the box though because it does have the rules on it otherwise the pieces are really small so it does have everything broken down by category which is nice and you only have to answer five questions correctly to win the game so overall i think it's a pretty decent little set for the price it's not something you're really going to track down but if you want to give a stocking stuffer or have something for the kids to play while the adults are doing something else at a holiday event or some other get together this would be good for that it's a good simple board game it might be a little challenging for 10 year olds even though it says it's for 10 year olds i think that some of the questions are going to be way too hard for them but overall pretty decent little set for the price like i said i got it on clearance and five bucks would have been fine with me so I think it's worth picking up as a emergency game kind of thing something to do to keep people occupied for a short period but it's not something you're gonna go back to over and over again you might play it a handful of times over a weekend at most and then it'll be probably destroyed or you could th or you'll throw it away but for five bucks not bad all right that'll do it for this one we've seen what's inside you've heard my take on it Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you'd like to help the channel out in other ways, links to my Patreon, Streamlabs, and Teespring store are all in the description. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.